Peak Zoom Lock. The 10-second flame-free refrigerant fitting from Parker. Reduce labor costs by 60% with no brazing, no flame, and no fire spotter. Discover how ZoomLock can help you be more efficient and productive. Visit ZoomLock.com for more information. All right, guys, here's our unit for today. Old Arco Air. I don't know why they got it running because it doesn't pump, but I guess they're trying to get every bit of cooling out of it that they can. But we're going to replace her. Boy, sure is nice when you can work right here by the truck. There's the truck, and then right there's the condenser. And we're in the shade. So this is fantastic. All right, guys, we're going to get started. We're going to rip this one out, and we're going to put the new ICP in. All right, guys, I got the old one out. I got the new one in. 14 sear, 3.5 ton heat pump. All I got to do is just hook up my line set. I'm going to hook up my line set and start the vacuum. And then I'm going to go inside and uh, put a new thermostat and rewire the low voltage at the air handler since we're moving from straight cool to heat pump. But you can, that's a 10 sear. It's 14. You can see the size difference for sure. All right, guys, I have the... Uh, ICP in a vacuum, obviously. Everything's brazed up. We got our dryer in. Have my new mini blue vac gauge. I'm gonna open up here and then open up over here. And there we go. It's in sleep mode right now, but it'll come awake here in a minute. We'll start pulling some microns. I'm gonna go inside and rewire the air handler. And mount him a new thermostat and wire that up because, uh, like I said, we've moved from straight cool to heat pump. All right, guys, I got everything wired up. Got my whip wired up. Got my low voltage done. We are down to 185 microns. So let's valve it off. We'll valve this one off. All right, I'm valved off, and it's 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 dry. It, it's the micron gauge is playing around. It's acting really funny. I may have to clean it with some rubbing alcohol, but I pulled it down to 100 and something, and it's holding around in the threes now with it valved off. That one's valved off. That one's valved off. So now I'm gonna shut and see it's steadily dropping. So I'm gonna uh, I'm going to unhook the vacuum pump and hook up the Pro R tool and start this machine up. All right, guys, the machine is operational. We have the Pro R tool hooked up. There's our high pressure gauge, our low pressure gauge, our low pressure line temperature sensor, and our high pressure line temperature sensor. Here's the app. It's okay, I'm good now. Here's the app. Um, you can see we have T1 which is 104 degrees Fahrenheit with a 363, 61 head pressure. T2 is the suction line, it's at 64 degrees. Low pressure is at 135. 47 degree coil, 109 degree condenser, about five degrees of subcooling, and about 16 and a half degrees of superheat. So it's actually a very cool tool. I actually like it. The only thing I'm not a fan of is the zip ties here. I had to use zip ties to tie on my uh, to tie on my uh, line sensors. But um, Zach had a clamp. I think I'm going to get me a clamp, a couple clamps to tie them on to try it for next time. But this this is actually a really cool tool. Uh, it does a good job. The range on it is fantastic. So. Uh, Yeah, not bad at all. I really do uh, like it. I'm going to get a target superheat and see where we're supposed to be. All right, guys, the recommended superheat is 13. We are at 
Pressures look good. We got a 7.7 .7 subcool. So we're about six degrees off. You have a variance of five. That's pretty close. So I'm gonna sit here and monitor it uh, to make sure it doesn't get any lower than that, like down to, you know, five, th uh, five, four, three, two, you know it any lower than that. As long as we stay around this seven to eight mark, I'll be pretty happy with that. But all in all, it's not a bad tool at all. Uh, pretty impressed with it, to be honest with you. All right, guys, there's a final look. She's all done. Came out real nice. All new Armaflex. She's quiet. Charge ended up being just fine. We held about a... Uh, seven to eight degrees of superheat the target was 13 so we were within the uh five degree range but she's doing good customer likes it he's happy all right guys thank y'all for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one